Greetings and welcome back to Grounded. All right, I have been busy in the meantime. Lots of grinding, lots of building, and uh, also some killing. Uh, I have been killing bees with some regularity, actually. Uh, what I have been doing is I've been keeping my eyes open over here. When something gets within range, kind of like that, actually. Uh, I think he's too far away. Yeah, he's too far away. What I would do is shoot at him and then jump down there and actually do the fight. Sometimes they pass very close, which allows me to do that. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fire this now. And I already damaged my base once by doing that, and I don't want to do it again. All right, back up here then. All right, actually, I could use some extra arrows. Although, I probably won't need them. All right, so here's the thing. I have been killing bees, and I killed two wolf spiders. So as a result, we'll get into the house in a minute, by the way. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. Um, I do have some things to scan, and I want to actually bring them for scanning. However, I can actually make something that will make my life a lot easier. And I'm going to start with that. Because I have, where is it here? The moment I'm using da, 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 that, which really stinks, really does. Uh, that, that is what I want. So that is what I'm going to craft. All right, so I still do have one spider fang that I can scan, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so let's get rid of the sprig bow for now. All right, put that in there. And let's get, we'll put it in the supply area. No, that's the bug area here. We'll put, uh, where is that guy? Oh, do I have it in my hands? Yes, I do. All right, hold it a minute. There we go. That was the reason I couldn't see it. All right, we'll leave that over there with the junk. All right, and I have one of these, so why don't we put that over there? Yes, I have a nice understanding with the aphids. They keep me supplied. And, uh, well, it's like a protection racket. Nothing happens to them. At least in my view. And bees. Oh, bee, 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 bee. Okay, I don't... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do that. Five. Got him. All right. We're taking out a bee. We're taking out a bee. All right, this is where I like to fight him. Right here. Get over here. There we go. There we go. Alright. See, the thing is, they like to do that to get a little bit too high. So I like the hill. Alright. Ah. Boom. There you go. See, they like to fly right above you. So, boom. Yeah, fuzz. The last two times I just got fuzz. I have one stinger. All right. So I was told not to fight on my base. But, I mean, I can actually reach them better this way. So that I can just take them down there. And like I said, they like to float above your view. So you can't hit them with a club. I mean, if you jump in the air like I did, you can hit them, right? But the thing is, if you can just walk up the hill, that kind of ruins their strategy, you know? So I found that that is actually a good place to actually do it. All right, so I want to do some scanning. All right, uh, thing is, I have four things to scan, which is a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, I have the stinger, the only stinger that I got. All right, I'm going to take just one fuzz because I don't need the other one. See, I got the um, spider fang, and I also got uh, venom. You know what? I'm going to leave the fuzz because I have a feeling that basically that's just going to be a stuffed bee. I mean, I'll do it eventually, but I have a feeling that's what that's going to be. That's going to be a stuffed bee. All right, so let's uh, let's go over here, and we can take a look at the work I've been doing. And I see the weeds are back. Okay, that's kind of useful. All right, you'll get an idea for what I'm working on. I'm working on the crafting area first. Here, you know what? Go with Stabby Stabby. All right, you can see there's some construction going on over here. And um, without knowing it, I created a wolf trap. 
You're going to see a demonstration of that, by the way. Yes, you are. All right, so you notice I have some pallets here. Yeah, I got to get grass. Um, I kind of use grass by putting in the walls over here. I'm pretty good with the, uh, the stems for now. Over here, I put some essential items. You see I have a lot of uh, dew right here. I have this so I can save over here in the middle of the night. I actually made a set of ant armor for carrying things back and forth. And actually, I'm storing some things in here too. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be making more, that's for sure. Uh, here, take that, take that. Because I want supplies over here. All right, I think we're good. Oh, yeah, I wanted to leave this too because that way I can go underneath and get the wax. All right, so what I'm doing here is this is going to be, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I already have the spots for chests and I have a shelf in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on both walls and I'm going to have crafting things here in the middle. I can still push this further back if I need to. And maybe I'll work on maybe a second floor or something like that. I'll put a stair in the middle or something like that. Maybe just an observatory or something. But this won't be my home. Uh, I will build something once I get the, um, the mushroom blocks going, right? Oh, and I did do some bombardier hunting. So I think I have eight of the boiling glands now. And as I understand, you need four for each of the ovens. But then again, I also do need to get some of the charcoal over there. So that's something. All right, let's go and do some scanning. Um, although first, maybe we want to talk about this. This right here. This turns out to be um, very useful. All right, so there's my little stair, and I put fences here, not just for aesthetics, but also to protect me from big guys. Uh, little did I know. All right, so we saw, there he is right over there. I think he's coming back now. All right, he's also phasing a bit. Where is he? I just saw him a moment ago. There he comes, there he comes, there he comes. All right, so let's pull out the bow. All right. He is coming this way. All right. So this is the normal traveling route anyway, right? So why don't we just get your attention? There we go. Woo. Hi. How you doing? Oh, are you stuck? Okay. What else is over there? Hi. How you doing? Smile. You're going to give me an insect bow, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're going to give me an insect bow so I don't have to use 60 arrows to freaking kill you. So why don't we just, uh, I don't know, speed this up a little. All right, he's nearly done. Boom, there we go. And, oh, he gave me two fi uh, spider fangs. Wasn't that nice of him? What's moving over there? Maybe his friend. All right, uh, obviously this costed me a number of my arrows. And uh, let's see here. Okay, actually I got 58 back. I had 60, I think I had 60, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got all 60, I'm pretty sure I started with 60, didn't I? All right, up we go. Yeah, this, actually I must have had more. Okay, either that or the uh, wolf spider was nice enough to give me a few extra. I'm going to assume he was nice enough to give me more. Right, so that worked out exactly the way I was hoping it would. I mean, protecting me. I didn't realize he'd just stay there and have his face sitting right up there. So since I have the insect bow now, and this is a regular pathing area for them, 
this is going to be my way of farming the uh, wolf spiders. I know people have advanced traps. There's one that's actually kind of comical where it's like a grass circle on the top and they have the bouncy things and he gets stuck in there and you just beat him in the head. Um, but without realizing it, and rather simply, I kind of made something that's kind of useful. Mind you, he does have to come over here, but they do that anyway. They're always coming over here, right? All right, so let's see. Yes, yes, the alliance is good. He was letting me know that there was some over here for me. Uh, the other one, actually the first one, the first wolf spider that I killed. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, I am, but I mean, it's not my fault. You're delicious, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's not my fault. You're delicious, you know? Uh, did I go the wrong way? I may have. Let's just pop up here for a moment. Uh, is it on this side? Yeah, there it is. Because there is a... Um, I think there's an orb weaver nest over there. All right. So what happened was I was coming out of here, right? And boom, wolf spider. He was right there. His face was standing right in there. And it was like, Ugh! and then he stopped. Just like he did over at the uh, the stair over there. And I just said, okay, I pulled up my bow. It took me 53 or 54 arrows. He moved a couple of times, but his leg was still visible. But I mean, now that I have the insect bow, it'll take much less. So that's a very good thing. Okay, you'll be safe in here. I don't know what you're gonna eat though. All right, so we got some scanning to do. You know, I think one of my missions is broken. I got the mosquito one. I haven't got mosquito hunting yet. The larva. I've actually killed four of them, and I didn't realize I wasn't updating. Now, the stink bug's not a problem because they appear wherever I am. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. Okay, that's the stuffed bee. All right, maybe the other one is a stuffed bee too, right? All right, and we're going to go with the spider venom. Already, they do like poison arrows. I know that. Okay, yeah, the sp actually, how many do I need for that? I mean, do I, I guess I'll make it, but how many do I actually need, right? All right, and let's do the spider fang. Oh, and I did get the um, wolf spider head mount. So I can make his head because I have his fang. Okay. Hey, it's science, right? That's what matters. Lots and lots of raw science. That reminds me. All right, so as soon as I killed the first one, I got the recipes for the bees. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, I'm looking at sprint distance, but I'm really interested in defense. Now, it's nothing in comparison to the, um, the ladybug, right? The ladybug is obviously the best defense. Um, yeah, it really is the best, isn't it? Okay, see, this one... I don't even know why you would actually use that. I mean, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it. I could make it actually right now because I have everything I need, and put it on a rack on display, probably in my house. I'm gonna have all of them on display. Um, but I mean, yeah, the perfect block. I'd I'd rather just have great defense. You know, I mean, against a wolf spider doesn't really matter. I mean, if he gets through you, if he gets if you don't block him perfectly. He's going to poison you and you're going to die that way, right? Uh, if only they had a Slurpee that protected you against poison. And then you have this one. But I mean, the bee armor is the second best in terms of defense. And if you can run away, it would be great for traveling, right? So, bee fuzz, berry. Okay, this one needed a stinger. I only have one stinger. I've killed four or five now. I only got one stinger from the first one. All right, that's just that's easy, but I mean to get four for that, right? You need four fuzz for that. You need a stinger and four more fuzz for that. And what about the bee mask? Okay, you need five fuzz for that. Basically, you need a whole bunch of fuzz, right? Um, in terms of the stinger, I know you use it for a hook, for a um, the zip line. But I mean, I'd rather just have a stand-up thing for that. You know, um, I wouldn't want to waste that. I don't know what the insect bow is going to need to repair. As a matter of fact, why don't we just see? 
Where is the insect bow? Because I think it's a little bit damaged. It only needs web fiber? Okay, that's not a problem. I was thinking I was going to have to get fangs to, to fix it. Well, I guess not. So that worked out pretty darn nice. Pretty darn nice indeed. Uh, here, let's move along here. So yeah, whenever I see, uh, I, I killed one not too long ago because I had to. It's just, it, it's just, I feel bad doing it now because it's like they're defenseless. So yeah, I mean, the thing about it is as long as you can draw him over here and one of them does walk this path too. So it's not really like it's going to be hard, but I mean, he's dead. I killed him yesterday, so he's not going to respawn for a day or two or something like that. I think it's like three days or something like that. But, I mean, the thing is, I can get stuff from him now. Uh, do I want to make the dagger? Wait a minute. I mean, I have so many weapons now, and I do think, like, the stinger spear... Oh, can I make that now? I can! I'd like to get another stinger before I do that. I mean, this would use up, I think, all of my beefas. But, I mean, that is such a good weapon. How is that against the... And, you know, the thing is, it was usable underwater, at least the bad one that we got, right? I mean, it does critical damage. Whereas this one actually can stun. I guess you'd have to test them, wouldn't you? But, I mean, you do want to make them. That spider dagger... Is that better than the mosquito? It poisons. I think I would, if I was going to do anything, I'd probably stay with the Mosquito one because of the healing. The life draw, I should say. All right, and let's go back up here. Boom. I want to put this stuff back just so it's out of my inventory. Uh, that one. I'll scan the... Um, the foe. Actually, I got nine of them. I mean, I could make the spear right now. I would like to have a re one more stinger before I do that, though. Uh, it's just that I don't want it to um, vanish too quickly. Do I have anything hanging here? No, I don't. I went back to the hedge uh, to get a bunch more of the berry chunks. You can see right here, and I have been using the uh, drying rack to turn them into uh, berry leather since it's a one for one. I also got some of the uh, the cookie sandwich bits. Boy, the ants did not like me doing that. They didn't attack me, but they definitely expressed an opinion for me destroying that and taking the chunks. Um, while I was over there, I also killed bombardiers. So I brought some parts back with me, and you can see... I have eight of the boiling glands. Now, I seem to remember... Hold on a second. It's over here. The oven. Right, you need four for each boiling gland. So we do need one of the... Um, the Everchar coal chunks. And clay, clay isn't really a problem. So I'm pretty sure that they come from the grill that's over there. So we're going to have to make a trip over there. I also want to go into bee territory to see if I can maybe get a higher concentration of bees. Where's that grill? There's the grill. So as I understand, it's kind of knocked over and it spilled some. So I don't know if you go over and you pick it up or you knock it off, you know, with the hammer or something like that, with a tier two hammer, you know. So that's something we're going to have to do. The thing about it is it's all meaningless unless I get a feather, right? Because the thing about it is before I can actually use the oven, where is it here? I have to use the grinder and it needs two crow feather pieces. So it doesn't matter what else I have at the moment. I have to find a crow feather. I have been looking around here and then back at the baseball. Oh, that reminds me, it was actually pretty funny. After I had fought the, um, 
the wolf spider, and also, you know, I lose a lot of arrows for shooting at uh, bees trying to draw their attention. So I went all the way back to the, um, the baseball because it was near a thistle plant. What I didn't realize is that there's one right there. So I could get all the spikes I won off of that. Where is it? Hold on a second. If you haven't seen that, where is it? Right there. All right. So the way you do this is they're right there. You know, you just got to grab them. And then you just basically keep going up. Oops, unless you fall. Hold on a second. Oop, there we go. And you can keep going up and keep going up and then keep pulling them off because just grab them like that. So they do respawn. So you can get about high 40s in terms of how many are there if you really want them. I brought a bunch back with me because I didn't realize there was one right here until I just looked over and I said, wait a minute, that flower, it's purple. Is that a thistle? Yeah, it is. So uh, basically that gives me as many arrows as I want. Uh, of course, you also need gnat fuzz. No, mite fuzz. But then again, mites are pretty easy to get because they're so annoying. <laughs> I mean, over here, there's usually a bunch of mites stuck in the spider webs. And if you go to the hedge, you'll just be swallowed by them because there are just so many. I went to kill the, uh, the bombardiers and I was getting attacked by three mites at the same time, which is really annoying. Anyway, I think that's about all for today, unless, of course, a bee would like to uh, make himself visible. I mean, look, they got the big flowers here, right? And their home is off that way, I believe. I believe it is off that way. So they are going to be coming over here, and then they're going to be flying back, all right? And you can pick them off. It is a little tricky. Sometimes they get really close. Sometimes they don't. This is the reason I've killed, um, I've killed about five, including the one that we killed at the beginning here. Uh, I would like to get another stinger before I make the, um, the, uh, the spear. But I think that in terms of weapons, that's probably not a bad idea. I mean, this one, where is it? I mean, this one's pretty good. They both have the same speed. They both have the same damage. It's just that the other one has got like a critical chance increase, which means you can do a lot more damage. And uh, this one has got stun. I haven't actually stunned anything with it. But to be fair, if it's something big, I usually pull this out, right? Because uh, you want to kill them as quickly as possible. Like for instance, the bee. Four good hits pretty much does the job. It's just tricky sometimes getting those four hits because, like I said, it likes to fly out of your range. So you might have to time a jump or something like that. He also likes doing the... Uh, did I have another one? No, I didn't. Oh, and you can see I do have the uh, Canteen Plus because, you know, four water is better than two water, especially when you have a whole bunch of jerky. Yeah, I have a lot of that. I have it stashed here, and I have it stashed uh, over on that base. I do want to start moving over there, right? That's what I want to do. And now I'll, I'll worry about where I'm going to build later. But the thing is, like I said, I want to get the crow feather so that I can start doing the mushroom stuff. Until then, there isn't really much of a point in pursuing it too much, even though I said, like, I did do the... Uh, the hunting in order to get the uh, the boiling gland and also yeah bombardier parts because nothing else the uh, drying rack is very useful very useful indeed you know just plop just one of these guys in here and then you get the leather lots of things use the leather lots of things use the leather anyway I think that's gonna be it it looks like it's getting a little bit dark here and Max is gonna have to go to bed soon so yeah basically the bees not that big of a deal as long as you're careful. And like I said, basically, I just kind of shoot them up here and then I jump down there. On an inclined hill, it's a pretty good place to fight them because like I said, you saw it. He was staying like above my hammer thing and just coming in. So you have to kind of jump in the air and time it right. Or you go up the hill so you can hit him. Then it's not a problem. And in terms of wolf spider, it's pretty easy to get them stuck. 
as you can see, that little thing, I was just, I made it so I didn't want him coming down at me. I had no idea that... Oh, up a little more. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, that was close. Come on. Got him. That's the pollen, by the way. I don't know what that actually does. Come on. Okay, you go around this way. You go around this way. There we go. Okay. Uh. Oh, is it, did he just drop some pollen? Oh, I have that. No, 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 no. And then he's dead. Boom. Fuzz. I don't want your fuzz. I saw something drop. Was that pollen? Okay, I better get inside because... Uh, yeah, there may be a... Um, Oh, wait a minute, was that? No, that's, that's just honey. There may be another wolf par, uh, spider that wants payback. Yeah, so they're not really very hard if you know what you're doing. Uh, like I said, it does cost me arrows because I'm kind of shooting into the void. But look, I can already make um, replacements, so not a problem. I even brought some with me. No, actually... Here, right here. I brought these back before I realized there was one right over there. I think there might be one. It's a little bit more dangerous over there. But uh, there's one right there. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now because Max has to go to bed. He's very tired. He's had a long day. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.